Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, The Stock Analyst. This particular video is on ticker symbol SKLZ, which is for skills. And if you know about the skills, very good. If you do not know at all, still very good. Because in this particular video, I will talk about the stock. So first of things I want to talk in this video is uh, why you should buy skills. What are the price level? What are the price target? And what is the company doing? What is their previous revenue? So mostly just trying to convince you why you should buy it or why you should wait for this thing to come. Or if you want to play some day trading or some swing trading or even long term investing. So this is the video for you. So again, it might be a long video, but again, I will try to make it short and I, I will just try to give you as many information as I can feed in this particular video. So first of all, looking at the chart. Last day it was okay, 0.74%. We know Friday everything had almost sell off, so it makes sense. But just looking at the chart, you can see that on 9th of June it went around 24, then came down around 18, 19 area, moved sideways. Maybe it will just bounce back again. And I'm just drawing some line. So if you are just doing some swing trading, maybe between 19 and 21 or 22 you can do some swing trading so anyway i will go back to the chart later but seems like it might have uh, moving sideways and even even though like uh, friday some of the stocks like they came down after uh, not after hours like afternoon but this thing is doing good not bad anyway i'll come back here i will also talk about the price um how things are moving you can see from here it went from 10 to 46 came down and again went to 32 again came down to 10 then from 10 it went to 20 in three four days came down so again uh, what is happening here so i will just have some support resistance and so many things but i will come there later before that i want to talk about something others so if you go to nasdaq you can see they have a very strong buy rating here right you see the strong buy rating here with the average price target of 25 with a high of 34 and a low of 17 so the current price is only at 19 so just above low but it's still the average is 25 high of 34 and if you do not know what is the skills this is an online gaming platform so basically you can go and play the good thing is the more and more you play the more skill you gain you get more reward so basically it is a gaming thing you play a game at the same time you become more skilled and you get some your uh, revenue at the same time if you are a game developer just because of the game you get uh, from developing the game you make some money at the same time they are the platform so anyway so this is the gaming one and why i'm so excited because if you go to arc invest big ideas 2021 and if i move to page 21 so they have a section called virtual world and why they are so bullish because when they talk about virtual world they talk about you see 2010 15 and 20 and this particular piece 20 the percent of revenue from in-game purchase so the green pc so 20 50 75 so this thing is increasing so the in-game purchase part also if you look at direct versus indirect monetization so currently gaming is here when you look at cost per hour but what arc is thinking that the cost per hour of playing video game is likely to increase 20 percent but will remain a bargain relative to other sources of entertainment and information so currently gaming is here but they are predicting more than 20 percent also if you look at the revenue here so basically they are showing two cases so one is the in-game revenue bull case and the other one is the base case and you can see whatever is the bull case or the base case things are going higher and higher right so it's an overall trend you can see by 2025 how things are going at the same time they have some other things here so the ar um, so basically augmented reality smartphone and the smart glass and for both you can see the revenue they're projecting is really <laughs> massive and finally it also talk about some other things let me show you here the global gaming market size 16 percent cagr at the same time global ar market 59 percent so massive growth are expecting so this is what arc is doing and remember when the correction came in january february so arc said they will only buy the stock which they have very high conviction and that time they were buying pltr at the same time skills a lot let me show you something so in this chart you can see the arc holding of skills so the price yellow is the price and the blue line is 
the holding and you can see they have been adding skills and like adding skills and now they are maintaining as same number of shares but again when the price came down they bought more and more and more so this is something if you're a long-term investor and if you like arc invest cathode then this is definitely something to keep that in mind why arc is so bullish some other things if you go to monthly full so skills three key advantage to keep winning so they talk about some of the things i will not go through but i want to talk that mobile gaming is massive so it's the fastest growing segment within the 175 billion video gaming industry so that's a big number then also monetization through competition has proven to be effective for skills in 2020 its average user bought in 7.49 in revenue versus 2.35 on average between the other studios and also the international expansion is just beginning the skill intends to become a global company it's about to enter india its first major international launch by year's end by year's end okay the huge market houses more than 365 million gaming mobile gamers so you see the big numbers also some brand partnerships are coming so nfl and skills have partnered to launch a game developer challenge and so on so they are really bullish right and if you want to know more about this you can always go to their skills website in investor they have a latest presentation on april 1st 2021 and before I talk about the technical analysis, some other things. The last earning, even though the last GPS was missed only by two cents, but see the revenue actually um, beats by three million, and the year-over-year -year growth was 92%. Also, the gross marketplace revenue grew by 566 million, which is 85% year-over-year. Also, the company increased their uh, fiscal year 2021. 20, 20, Revenue guidance to 375 million, which equates to 63% year over year growth. So you see that their earnings were good. They are increasing their future guidance. So everything is looking good. So there is nothing bad. So I will come back. I will come back to some other article, but I think I have been talking about some things. So let's go back to the chart. So first of all, if you look the chart, it was kind of funny. The blue, so see the black line here. So that thing was coming down, 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 and what point it broke? Then again, it was sliding through. It's like feels like it has been sliding through the line. So it came back to 12.53 again. Now it is going up. Then it came to 18. Then you see the resistance and everything. But the good thing is, if I see the top here, you see it. Last time it made up high of 21. The next time it made another high of 25. So higher highs. At the same time look at the low so the last time there is a bottom so there is a low at 12.63 now maybe this bottom is 18.4 so again this is higher lows so higher high higher lows means it is the upward trend so this thing will go higher and if the same trend is continuing that will be funny let me draw the lines so you can see what i'm talking here so let's see this is the new trend here this is gonna happen from here so i'm gonna line another line the thing i just talked so um it's very hard to say at this point whether this is the end or there will be more but let's say this is the thing right so in that case if this thing bounces from 18 and it does not come so hopefully it will go and make another push and maybe it will pass beyond 24 and then it will go around 30 area it can be possible but again i'm just saying if because this thing can come down again in this case we have to adjust the line maybe it can go around this area but again as long the overall uptrend is continuing this is good at the same time this can be a very good swing trade opportunity for you because if this thing can come back again at 18 dollar then this thing can bounce again then definitely from 19 21.5 24.3 or maybe 25 27 that can be some other areas for swing trading so keep that in mind how things are progressing so currently the 18 is the resistance so if it might come back if the market is really bad or if another correction is coming this thing can come back all the way to 16.5 then it can bounce back but for now wait for this to come at 18 if you want wait for this to come at 18 then you can play a swing trade and i think the swing trade you can easily target around 20 21.5 this area on the other hand look at the daily level rsi so it went almost 70 anything over 70 is overbought so it touched 70 came down and moving sideways it can again start going up it can move sideways it can even come down also look at the magd the magd is suggesting that 
the blue line is coming down you see some uh, red bars here so it might come down for some time so even do not get too excited if it comes down to 18 you can grab some share if it comes around 17 dollars again you can grab some share so just want to show you how the things are forming here also some articles that talk about skills stock is on the recovery path so snap the doubler so they gained a very bullish article the other one i went to seeking alpha it was four days ago it says skills is likely to be on the reddit menu so whenever i go to reddit menu i become excited about short interest and i just noticed that previously it was really high around 20 percent but now the short interest is only nine percent so most probably the shorts have covered their position and again do not get too excited if you are really a swing trader or if you think you're a long-term investor i would say wait for this to give you the confirmation maybe it will move sideways it will come back to 18 again or who knows again around 16.5 16 area who knows then you can just grab some share for easy swing trading but you can see how things are moving so these are the things and in this particular video i will not talk about option but i just wanted to make this video just to give you a sense that what is the skills what is the future and really if you want to make some swing trading or if you want to make some long-term investment this is a good opportunity for you and again this is a leader so that will be a good one at the same time we do um, day trading sometimes you can see the big spikes here so we do day trading we make money and for day trading normally i like to play with call option but again this video i'm not going towards the call option rather i want to talk about this stock because i think things are looking really good and this thing will go higher so you, you can draw the line any way you want right so again it might come back to 18 again or move sideways then touch the 18 again this is what i'm saying but again i can't predict what will happen the next day but this is what i'm thinking and i want to share this uh, particular information with you again i'm not a financial advisor please do your own research before you buy or sell any stock and i'm just sharing my my thought that's the only thing right and the blue line here this is the 50 day moving average so again you can see this thing is sitting around 17.4 and the good thing is this thing is also coinciding with my blue line here so it might come back to 18 17.5 who knows then maybe it will bounce back anyway my friend if you find this video useful please do not forget to hit the like button do not forget to subscribe to my channel also there is an option join you can join my community pay 10 cent per day which will be three dollar per month and you can get some early access to chart news and some ideas for day trading so anyway my friend thank you again for watching this particular video take care and peace